So I want to get back to something Amy talked about just a few minutes ago. We caught up with protesters who were really disappointed with how today went. Thousands of people marched peacefully before the gathering took a violent turn. Here's what one woman told Amy Marino. I'm more than frustrated. I'm irate. I came down here for a planned protest, peaceful, and the anarchists, I feel, have taken over, breaking windows, taunting the police. That, that's not what we're here for. And, and I feel like now there's a curfew, we have to leave. They hijacked our, our protest. So they were, I don't even think they know what they're, they're protesting. They just wanted a reason to break windows and taunt the police and everything else. So I'm furious. What's the message you wanted people to hear today? I, I, a, a strong, firm message that we're not going to take um, our black men and women being murdered by police. And um, that, that something has to change. And I feel like this was a, this is something that was so unbelievable and unimaginable that, that I think they, we are going to be heard. But we're not going to be heard because now we, it, it, we, there's a curfew. And um, I'm, I'm just really, I'm, I'm heartbroken. You worry that some of this is going to cloud the message? Oh, I know it is. Because people, and I feel like the black community will get blamed for the broken windows and the looting when I videoed almost a lot of it. They were all the, the anarchists. So it, 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 it's take, it has totally taken away from what, what we were coming down here to do. And for you personally, was it the, the, the incident in Minneapolis? Was it something personal? That yes, it, it's a, in Minneapolis and personal. I, I'm the... Um, African American Chair Advisory, and um, and so I work a lot with SPD, and I get a lot of flat for it because I try to bring the community together with them, and um, and I, I started thinking, am I wasting my time? You know, because it, it just really hit me hard watching a a, a man murdered, and um, it, it, I, I'm just really I'm, I'm heartbroken and sick about it. So. And, and I've had my issues with the police, but I'm trying to help bridge the gap. And, um, and even today, I was trying to be nice to two officers, and um, they were so rude to me. And I'm thinking, really? I bust my butt to, to, to try to bring us together, and you're going to talk to me like that? So I'm, I'm, I, I'm all over the map right now. It, it's like, you know, I tried to stay in the middle, but now it's like, what side do I go to, you know? George Floyd! George Floyd! Earlier today, a peaceful protest in Seattle. This group chanted the name George Floyd, that black man who died in police custody in Minneapolis. They shared frustrations and fears and stories. To make certain that we don't just grieve the loss that is happening in Minneapolis. We've got to make certain that on our own soil, as we stand right here, that we are making sure that we grieve the lives of the lost that are lost right here in Seattle. The group met at Seattle Police Headquarters starting at noon today.